everyone. Today I'm going to be opening my Project MC Squared Bryden's Nail Polish Experiment. Bryden's Nail Powder, it says Project MC Squared. And then we have the STEAM logo there, which stands for Science, Technology, Art, Mathematics and Engineering. Very good. Here we have the equipment for the experiment, but they don't provide the ingredients. So we've got the little pots here and a little stand to stand the pots in. And then we have the lovely Bryden. She's gorgeous. Look at her hair. I love the hair colour on her. I love that jacket she's got on. And I love her shoes. I'm always a big fan of these dolls. I love their clothes so much. So on the back of the box, it tells you how to make your nail powder. You crumble up some eyeshadow. What they've used is eyeshadow, so you can get the um, bright pigments from them. So you crumble up your eyeshadow, you paint your nails with clear nail varnish, dip them into the nail, into the powder that you've made and let it dry to um, provide your nail powder. I don't actually wear eyeshadow so I haven't got any that I can use. On the bottom it shows you the other girls you can get in this line. So Bryden who we've got here, then there's Michaela. I don't think I've got Michaela but I do have Adrienne and Ember from this line and they are, I think I need to unbox both of those. So my plan is to get all my um, MC Squared dolls opened and then do an uh, MC Squared collection video. So on her hat we've got TTYL which stands for talk to you later. Up here it says nail powder experiment. A pigment is a material that changes the colour of light which is reflected off of an object. Pigmentation is the reason nail polish has such bright colours. Create your own bright colour nails using a custom pigment by combining crushed eyeshadow and clear nail polish. First scrape the eyeshadow into a container then apply a base layer of nail polish and dip your freshly painted nails into the eyeshadow. Apply a second coat of nail polish over the eyeshadow to seal it and get ready to show off your amazing net manicure. And then at the bottom it says, solve the case by looking like a total rock star. Bryden's all over it. Her stylish hat, bold printed jacket, QR, QR code graphic dress and platform sneakers transform her into a rock legend. Going undercover never looked so rock and roll. <laughs> I love her glittery lips and her glittery eyeshadow. She really does look amazing. I love the lighter hair colour too. So let's see, these dolls are one of the most complicated to get out of the box in my experience and opinion. So we'll do it on the back. It has a perforated bit that you can, well, perforate. <laughs> And then I think the idea is that you can just pull the doll out of the back, but no, it, nothing is ever as simple as it as it ought to be, is it? it? That doesn't really work. Let's see. We'll do that anyway. We'll try it. So you've got your piece of card there, which is about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Then you've got your detailed instructions there. And then in here you can snip all the snippety bits so I'll go and do that now. After what seems like an eternity and in actual fact was around 15 minutes she is out of her box. I've never known a doll so well tied into their boxes as these MC squareds are. So let's have a look at her. She's got the most gorgeous blonde highlighted and honey blonde hair. It is just gorgeous and it's really long. I love how long their hair is. It comes right down to her knees at the back there. She's got on her quilted coat. We'll take that off so we can have a look at the clothes underneath it. This is made of like a fleece material. 
her legs keep falling off. That's one of the things that annoys me about these. It's the only thing that annoys me about these dolls is that their limbs are very loose. So her legs do come off really easily. And what I do is I put a bit of Yoohoo glue around this bit and glue it in and then I don't have a problem because I don't, I don't need the legs to come off. Um, the arms come off as well, but they don't come off quite as easily and the hands will come off you can change the hands as well so she has on her little barcode and scan qr code dress there love that dress and it's made of like a plasticky um material it's more like a it feels like one of them plastic tablecloths that's what it feels like yeah on the back you can see it's slightly um Flocked, slightly more material feeling on the back but yeah it is, does feel plasticky that dress does I love how articulated they are she's got articulation at her shoulder her elbow and her wrist and she's articulated at the hip the knee and I don't oh, look at this you see her legs keeps falling off and she has a very high heeled foot a foot for high heels She's got some nice glittery fishnet socks there. They're nice, they've got a little bit of a glitter to them. And then she's got these most gorgeous rainbow boots. Love those, they're like a chalky pastel-y colours, aren't they? I really like those boots. I do love the clothing on these dolls. They are everything I like about a doll. I love the inset eyes, I love the rooted lashes, I love the articulation, I love the long hair. The only thing I would change about them is the is I wish that the joints, especially in the knees, weren't so loose. Yeah. She has glittery makeup. You can see that she's got pink glittery lips and gold glittery eyeshadow. She's got these lovely pale they're almost gold the eyes are they're like a a pale hazily color would you call them they are nearly gold they nearly they match her hair color really well look at that she's so gorgeous isn't she and then she also comes with don't think she'll stand on her own they don't come with stands these dolls don't most of mine are sitting down on or standing on the shelf she comes with her hat with the TTYL on it. You can see that fairly well. They're nice and glittery and matches her lipstick. Let's pop that on her. Fits her so nicely. Look at that. Let's see if she'll stand up the back. Uh, will you stand up there, Bryden? Yeah, she'll stand up there. Love that dress on her, really do. Her jacket, as I said, is like a fleecy material and it's like gathered in the back to make it look like a puffer jacket and it's got like it's got eyes and eyelashes on it i love that <laughs> and little blue crosses i really like it when i first saw it i thought it was shiny but it's not it is a fleecy fabric but it's it's um it's nice it's unique i really like it and it fits so well she also comes with her flask shaped brush her beaker or flask shaped hair brush and then we get the equipment to do the experiment with. So that was my gorgeous Bryden's nail powder experiment doll. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.